Cordless technology has came about over the course of several years of once we launched the um, once we launched the 2020 and the powder hall design, we were struggling a little bit with um, how refined we could actually mill the core. Um, it was an area that required a certain amount of sophistication and real detail in, in terms of the 3D profile. It's one thing to press a board with a tip and tail and, and, and rocker contours and that sort of thing, but it's quite another when you're doing that and trying to get a 3D contour really specific. Um, what Coreless allowed us to do is we looked at a lot of other different materials to replace in there and eventually it was just like, well, why don't we just put nothing in there? Um, inspired a lot by George Greeno's uh, kneeboard designs of the 60s saw an awful lot of um, different different inspirations that, that could see that you just didn't need material there at all. You could use uh, the core where you needed the width between the two layers, where you needed dampening, and this was an area we felt we could get away with not having any core at all. What that allowed us to do was refine, refine the contours and get the shaping in precisely, because we weren't trying to bend or form wood where it didn't want to bend and form. Um, of course, it also lightened things up and it allowed us to um, nail in the flex and desired characteristics we were looking for. That's Corliss. <laughs>